welcome love from love hope from hope peace from our prince of peace it's time for the rainbow of his love and it's time to realize that setting goals goals of love with our faith in love moving forward is our first step towards turning the invisible into the invisible and so we all need to to love the light for it will show us the way of love the way unto heaven is narrow and that is the way we need to go with unconditional love Sylvester Stallone rightly says that unless love is loyal it is not even love and he is so correct because love is not even love unless it is even given away love is jealous only desires to love even more and so come upon this latter day mountain where the lord's forgiveness will remove all shame and guilt of all those coming to kneel at the uh, the imagery of the rose of sharon our majesty of majesties our hero of heroes who is evermore to be our icon of icons and so let us always uh, love the light and uh, it will show us the stars as long as we endure the darkness but it's time to become someone's sunshine when their skies are gray as we rejoice in the sunlight and realize now more than ever before that all of our actions need to be beat the sword into the sickle to change the ways of our understanding and the depth of our love so we are not shallow so we can learn the ways of war no more as Isaiah 2 and Micah 4 foretold for these latter days and realize that uh, it's time to know that even in darkness it is possible to create light and it is the light of love that must go before us to, to beat our sword into the sickle for the harvest of love for he who is the reaper of the seed of love is the planter thereof and he has overtaken his reaper as it is written in Amos 7. So it's now my mission to share with this world the truth that we have a false god in this world and he is a huge false god. I am one that was foretold as the latter day Daniel. That is my name. I am Elijah and I tell you everyone has a false god who has not the Lord God of all mankind. Jeremiah 32 27. This is the restoration of Matthew 17 11. And all have a false Christ that have not a Christ that is the good shepherd over all the flocks of man. John 10. And all have a false god if they believe that their God has a God of conditional love. There is no such thing as conditional love. And upon this latter day mountain will the veil be removed of love off all nations. For it's time to realize that any conditions over love makes love divine instantly disappear. And so it's time to, to for ho hope for the hopeless and love for the loveless because uh, our beloved love of the ages wants to show us all as he pours out his spirit of love upon us all that life can still be surprising, wonderful, and unexpected. And it's time to realize that the important thing is to learn a lesson every time we lose. For life is a learning process and we have to try to learn what's best for us. And let me tell you, there is no condemnation for anyone who walks under the spirit of love. For uh, there is no good man, no, not even one. Romans 3.10, there's nobody any damn good. I don't care who you are or what you think you are, but nobody is uh, no good. But most people are good, says the spirit of prophecy, because unconditional 
unconditional love does exist, even if it's as small as the size of a mustard seed in most people. And so let that ember grow. The embers are about ready to go out as we practice desensitizing our love, letting it go out. Wide is the way unto hell paved with conditional love as we get ready to, to sacrifice our love and let it die entirely from within as we practice uh, what it's like to imagine why it's not okay to forgive this one or to be merciful to that one, gracious to another, or why it's not necessary to love for the sake of loving. And so in this hour, uh, there are millions and billions of people that think they are loving people when they have no true divine love at all. So we must beat our sword into the sickle to learn the way of war no more. And for that reason, uh, narrow is the way to heaven paved with con uh, unconditional love. And there are no conditions within our Lord's love. For he says unto one and all, he says, I am your God, you are my people. I have forgiven your iniquity and I shall never remember it. I shall write my law and my love upon your hearts and beyond that none shall ever even need to be taught of me, saith the Lord God Almighty. For I am the everlasting Father and I am Jehovah Nisi, the banner of love over each and every soul. So commit not blasphemy of the Holy Spirit to let my light, me, within you to go out, says the spirit of love. And so in this hour, more than ever, it's time to realize that um, we, we, we got to realize that it's not fun when we're banging our heads up against brick walls all the time because this is such a, a spiritually racist world and a world of bigots out there and Pharisees and religious snakes. I know I was one most of my life, people. But the truth is everyone has a false god if they have not the God of the Bible. And the God of the Bible says in Jeremiah 31, 1, that in the latter days, Israel would inherit all mankind. You see, uh, early Christians, first they stole the uh, Hebrew books, called it their own. Then they called themselves Israel and said, we are spiritual Israel. And all the prophecy in the Bible was written for us. And it twisted everything beyond recognition. Because in these latter days, now the covenant has been given by one like Moses, Deuteronomy 18, 18. And Paul, Peter said the same thing in Acts 3, that the latter day Elijah would be a covenant giver. And one like Moses leading another great falling away in Exodus, the wheat must leave the tares behind. And I am the giver of the law of love. And because the, when you hear those words, I am your God, you are my people, as Hebrews 8 declares, all faith upon earth is absolutely obsolete as it is written. And because love, especially the Lord's unconditional love, is the fullness of law and the blood of the Lamb was slain before the foundation and spilt before the foundation of the earth for all of us. So it's time to realize that nobody can find light by avoiding the darkness. Um, and the dark does not destroy the light. It really does define it. So we got to have stop having fear that will cast our joy into the shadows uh, because the very truth of it is it's time for the rainbow of love. And you know, uh, we get out what we put out. Uh, some people call it karma. Some people call it the law of sowing and reaping. But what we put out is exactly what we get. And it's time to, to realize that this is true. So let's start putting out some real beautiful things colorful and vibrant and and passionate for if we are lukewarm the Lord will spew us out of his mouth and this is uh, dealing with his love people it is time to have uh, more than ever it is time to, to celebrate the rainbow promise that he has given all 
mankind. So don't turn around. Don't even look back. That's what that silly lady in that story about turning into a pillar of salt did. She kept looking back, and that was it for her. So keep moving forward. Keep pushing, because the pot of gold of love is at the end of the rainbow and not at the beginning. Realize, therefore, that the soul would have no rainbow if the eyes had no tears. And the way I see it, if you want the rainbow, you got to put up with the rain. You know, uh, many of us haven't seen the sky because of the weather in the way. And, you know, it's time to look no more through a glass darkly. In these age of Elijah, the wise might shine as the stars. So try to be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. And uh, it's time to shine because when when it rains, it's time to start looking up for rainbows and look for the double-edged ones. They are just glorious. And realize that a rainbow is the sky's most lovely garden. And we, as people, we are all um, uh, like beautiful flowers in the garden of humanity. But together, we're like the Queen Elizabeth II uh, Botanical Gardens, which is here in Windsor, Ontario. Make sure you don't miss that one. But realize more than ever that we are the rainbow that adds color to many gray gray skies and that if we will but look to the rainbow there is so much more that we can accomplish together so it's time to celebrate and it's time to imagine that rainbow and I invite everybody if you want to see the most beautiful rainbow go to love a light red ruddy and visit my good buddy a uh, brother of another mother who is preaching the correct truth that we got to stop being as shallow as a glass of water because otherwise people we can't see the vibrancy of love and we need that vibrancy to be alive and get my cord out of there but one thing for sure, uh, you know, I never thought I would be a YouTuber, people. And I am here by the grace of God. And I guess that's the end of my, 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 my video. Oh, dear. What a mess. It's Murphy's Law. If it can go wrong, it will. It does.